planet. Just any fucking gun on the planet will be fine. The guy just killed himself. Gun? No, of course not. Why would they have a gun? Maybe at the hospital there'll be a gun. More Molotovs. This is ridiculous. Out of all the fucking weapons in the game, three different spots all have Molotovs. It's absolutely mad. Like, where else can I even check without going ammunition? And watch this just have fucking Molotovs too. Thank fuck, an AK. Jesus Christ. Yep. Didn't want to move anyway. Who knew this mission would be so hard? It really blew it up. I was so far away. How does this make any fucking sense? Holy fuck, man. This is insane. Like, I couldn't have parked further away if I tried. This is absolutely fucking insane. Doom scrolling for two hours. Understandable. Retail only? I mean, if you want to play it, Kaz, I can, uh, can send you my 1.0 version over. What is that up there? Shotgun. Okay. Uh, message me on Discord. So remind me. No, I'll zip it up and send it over for you. Just make sure it's turn it. Yeah, yeah. Of, of course, like, I, I'm sending the physical disc over. Just send it back to me afterwards. Cheers. Can you fuck off? Wow, that did like no damage. So it all depends on what car you get. And I just insta fucking busted. What the fuck? This is insane. Like, I, I could not imagine this, this mission being this difficult. But if you get a car that has a shitload of health, it's just impossible to complete. Because the cops will always fuck you over. No matter what you do. Hey, Condor. Where the fuck does this even go? And all I need is a Bribe Star replay and I'd be fine. But of course, there's none to be fucking found anywhere.
Guess I'll grab the M16 again. Just gonna have to keep on rinsing and repeating until the uh... Until the vehicle that the van becomes isn't a really heavy vehicle that has a shitload of health. It's like my only choice. This car is just fast enough. What if it's a subway? If a car is a subway? Somehow I don't think that's possible. <laughs> right, this is like a normal car, so I also need a normal car. Of course I get cops on me even though he's fucking miles away. It's just gonna be the same thing again. The cop is gonna fuck me over somehow. Cause I still don't have a Bright Star replay. Car was a trash master. Or well, yes, but a trash master is a vehicle. A subway is not. I don't know what you're thinking of that you're saying subway about. Thank you. It's crazy that I could have completed this first try. But I just flipped off fucking nothing. You're the pretender. What if I say that I never surrender? What if I say that I'll never surrender? Thank God. I haven't heard this tune in a while. Big tunage. All right, finally. That scumbag, McCaffrey. He took my bride from anyone. He thinks he's gonna get an honorable discharge. If he Time to silence a sneak. Oh, if you meant a train, yeah. Most of the soft locks from stuff like that are, are avoided. I'm what's left, I'm what's right, I'm the enemy. I'm gonna check the health spawns to see if any of them are a bribe star. But I forget where this one is, it's somewhere here. Flamethrower, not useful. Could also check the uh, bribe here. Oh yes, let's go. Nice. Finally. A fucking bribe star. Thank the Lord. Ooh, excuse me. And hopefully that one will stay, because all the other ones have disappeared because they're like weird different markers. Alright. I'll be interested to see if um the type of vehicle that McCaffrey is driving makes this this strat not work. Should be fine. Yeah. Yep. Oh god. Huh? Yeah.
Yo, what's up? How's it going? Yo. Happy Ishtar Goddess of Fertility celebration. Absolutely. All right. Continuing on with Kenji, I suppose. I think this is the one where you have to go to the construction site and you get fucking bodied by, uh, by guys. I vaguely remember that. Yadi Lobo, Yadi Lobo, Yadi Lobo, Yadi Lobo. Hey Paolo, what's up? Hey Bush, hey Suave. How you guys doing? Wow, that is unlucky. <laughs> I, uh, I tried my best to break. Didn't quite judge the distance properly. Whew. We'll try that again. I would reload, but uh, I've got the car now, so I can just go and take it back and retry. Hey, Fabrizus. This mod is so good. I, uh, I saw you were banging out some uh, submissions, Kai. Have you, uh, have you finished it? I saw you were in Shoreside a few days ago, so I assume you finished it. I'm missing two missions and I have no clue. Oh, are you on, like... Are you on, um... You mean, like, 71 or 73 on the counter? Um... There's four off-road missions. Have you done all four of those? There's one in Portland with the dodo. Uh, there's one in Staunton. Um, God. Uh, there's two in Staunton. One of them is in the stadium. The other one is northwest of the stadium. Um, in a land stalker. Near the water towards Shoreside. And then there's another off-road mission in Shoreside in one of the warehouses. You've done all those. You've done all of them. Um, what else is there? <clears throat> Have you done the RC missions? There's four of those as well. Um, but obviously they're not modified, so... Not quite the same. Yeah. Let me out. Fuck off. Uh, I haven't got any M16. It's so shit that the one time I succeeded in under surveillance was the one time that I got like fuck all M16. Done those two and I have no markers left? Huh. Um, and I assume you've done like all the, the uh, what's it called? Like the payphone missions and stuff. Because those markers don't appear until you're in the relevant district. Because I did all the way up until, um, 
like big and veiny and then didn't actually do big and veiny because I just forgot it existed. Which was a bit silly. Hey Zibson. Thanks, Asuka. You too, buddy. Hey Sham. What's up? Done those two. Um, have you have you uploaded your save onto GTA SMP? Because it'll tell you what you haven't done in terms of like the checklist. There's a chance that you might have done all the missions, but they just didn't complete on the counter for whatever reason. Like, I didn't have that issue, but it could be an issue, you know? Yeah, it's probably best to just check on the checklist. To be so. If you just upload the save on the website, on gtasnp.com, um, you can just upload a save straight onto the main page. And then... Um, It'll bring up, like, the information about the save. And there's a button on the top right that says, like, 100% checklist. Click on that and it'll tell you what you've done and haven't done. I used that to figure out that I'd missed Big and Vaney. Let's see if I can grab this. Some of these cars are locked. I don't remember which ones. This one isn't good. All right, Shima time. Hey Adam, thanks buddy. Oh, I haven't got a quick save up once yet. Uh, GTA 3, quick save. I mean, I wouldn't put it past me that I did the mission, but then reloaded a save or something. Yeah, I, I did that quite a lot with the Definitive Edition. Like, I would grab a collectible, and then I would um, reload a save, because I, like, failed a mission or something, and then just not grab it the second time and think that I had grabbed it. Yeah, it was a bit silly. Um, I definitely want armor for this, I think. Because I'm pretty sure I have to fight quite a lot of guys. be the best way to check. I apparently didn't do Tanner. Well, oh, rip. That's uh, <laughs> that is that is not one that you're uh, that you're doing afterwards. Sadly. Best hope you have a uh, Staunton save somewhere. I wonder what other one you missed. Because see, Tanner is just one mission by itself. That's missable. There isn't a chain there, so... You must have dropped something else as well, somewhere. Guess it'll be 99% then. Might be 98. At this rate, dude. Uh, I forgot there's... Gotta go underground. Whoops. Can I drive down here as a smart? I don't remember. It's only been like two weeks. No, not even two weeks. Probably like a week since I did this mission. And I don't remember anything about this. I want to run from here because it feels a bit... Hello? You didn't do an RC mission. Well, thankfully, you can do the RC mission at any time, but... Yeah, the, uh... Where the fuck is this thing? Oh, it's in a bathroom, isn't it? 
One of them you can enter, yeah. Oh, and there's fucking health there. All right, I'm going to redo this because that was embarrassing. I didn't know there was health there, so I wasted time going to get health. And I fucking didn't know where I was going. We, we, we can do that way better than that pathetic performance. Two guys outside waiting for you. I assume it's some kind of, like, trap. I'll go and get armor first, and then we'll... Go back again. <laughs> Oops. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Do-do-do-do. do 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 Uh, I can stay east. Just go back on that road. I don't need to send the ID. You look trustworthy. Now I can save again. Alright. <clears throat> All right. Slightly less embarrassing display this time, hopefully. Hello. Random explosions behind me, nice. Hey Lewis, thanks. Uh, Liz Matty, I don't know if you're gonna believe me, but apparently there is. As disgusting as that sounds. Uh, am I down or up? Down. When I'm so miffed, watching Bat Devard, I did all the Kenji missions. Did I have to do any other mission before getting Tanner? I can't pay you, and I wouldn't pay you if I could. Some young gang just tracked up the place. They took everything. You got yeah, the, the worst thing about missing Tanner, Kai, and I'm sure this will make you feel worse, and I'm very sorry for this, um, but you, could, you have such a big window to do it. Like, you can do it all the way up until the end of um, Grand Theft Aero. Because as soon as you complete Grand Theft Aero, then Azuka's missions change to the construction site. But any time in between um, finishing, what is it, Payday for Ray? And all the way up until Grand Theft Aero, 
um, Azuka is there, I'm pretty sure. Which is, yeah, pretty rough. <laughs> Sorry to ruin your day even more. Hey, Bones, what's up? Don't know what I'm gonna do. Gotta get back to you. You gotta slow down, sweet talking woman. You got me searching. Surely that's the only GTA where this happens, right? Missable missions? Um, good question. I think so. They did away with that in Vice City because it's fucking stupid, to be fair. I can't think of any ones, any other ones that have missable missions. VCS has some missable side stuff in order to get 100%, but it's not missable missions, I don't think. GTA 4 doesn't, GTA 5 doesn't, LCS doesn't. I don't know about like advanced and China tours, town wars and stuff, but I don't think they do either, to be honest. Hello. That was a horrible idea. Terrible idea, I tell you. But somehow I got away with it. Is there still health here? I don't know. Fuck. Oh, panic. Oh god, I am so dead. I am so dead. So dead. No way I get away with this. I think either way, I should probably do this again. Yeah, this is a little too embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> need to, uh, you know, the whole point of a guide is to show, like, you know, somewhat mastery of the mission and how to do it, not how not to do it, which is very much what that showcase was. Like, th that was very much a what not to do. Hey, counter pillar. What's up? All right, this time, this is the one. This is the one. Mega co. Do as I say and not as I do. There are definitely going to be some ones like that where it's like you know, don't do this. Instead, do this. It'll be a bit easier. But it'll be for like minor stuff. Um, not like you know. Don't do anything that I do because I completely fucking beefed the entire mission. Hello, train. Uh, can I get around you? <laughs> there we go. Easy. Oh, that's that's who keeps blowing up. It's that guy who just keeps repeatedly killing himself there. Makes sense.
Hey, PHP, what's up? <clears throat> Had to choose the flamethrower rampage in Softside Vale because I did it way too late, so now everyone has AKs. Did you, um... Did you do the classic um, setting them on fire through the wall with the shoreside garage? I remember I've done that quite a few times. Perfect time for a stream exactly when I had nothing to do or watch on YouTube. Hey, you're welcome. You know, I, I saw, I um, you know, I had a look on my CCT cameras for all of my viewers and was like, ah, PHP hasn't got a lot to do. I'll, I'll go live and give them some entertainment. You're welcome. Yeah, good guy, Ben, exactly. I care for my viewers, yeah. Where did I bury the body today, then? Longitude 82, 41, 0, 63. Latitude 0, 49, 86, 2. I mean, uh, I have no idea. And you can't prove that I do. Alright, SmackDown. I remember there was some change with SmackDown. Ten Yardy Dealers. I remember the punctuation was fixed. Aside from that, don't know idea. I remember I failed it the first time because I uh, got shot to shit in the park. That was good. But then I did it second try, I think. Something like that. Rain. I don't know if that's intended. Or fixed or whatever. Quack. Uh, I should kill this guy in the park. He's like literally right next door. Even though it got me killed last time, it's, it's an efficient kill. That I should not ignore. Even though it's in the fucking rain, which is very annoying. I can just... Yeah, that's why it's not a good idea. Give me the stinger. I remember I'm pretty sure staying south was better last time. So I'm gonna do that. Because when you kill more spawn in their place, and I'm pretty sure more of them spawn on average on the south side. 
Because the ones on the north side that are spawned in now are so far away. Like, they are all the way at the other side of the map. And it takes forever to get there. And then you have to come back down anyway to kill more later on. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's better to just stick so. I should have stayed on the other road. Whatever. On the bright side with this spawn, as soon as I kill this guy, I'll be going the correct way no matter what, because they're all like either north or east of me. And I'm on the southwest side, so I can just pick a direction and go with it. Uh, I can stay on the east road. Because they're all up here in this general direction. <gasps> Excuse me. Hey, Barack, thanks for the eight months, big guy. Goddamn. Uh, where is this guy? I have legit no idea where this guy is. I think he's above me. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, this is not a good idea, actually. This, this, this road goes all the way down. Ah, uh, and then this guy despawned. Well... That's my fault then. I should have killed this guy much quicker. But I th I didn't know if he was on the fucking like bridge side or not. I had no clue. Yeah. Can I even shoot through this? Brilliant. And this is why you stay away from away from the northern side. Yeah, I failed. There's only two left. I can't kill them in time. Yep. Yeah. That was just a really terrible performance, just start to finish. Which is really bad. to do the same but not fucking beef my car on the park guy and not fuck up the uh, the northern route as well because it's just a little embarrassing I won't lie yeah PHP that can be annoying I'm glad uh, pretty sure Vice City changed that right but this guy, it's probably just better to fucking snipe him the more I think about it. I say that and then he just runs out of view. Yeah. yeah, these guys are grouped a lot better now. Seems rain, rain is fixed. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. But then again, you, you still don't know Counter Pillow because um, obviously I loaded the save which had the same weather cycle. So it could just be set on the save to rain at that certain time. And then it's just happening over and over again because I'm on the same weather cycle. Like there's, there's no way to know for sure with this current setup that I'm using to kill these guys. Where is this guy? There he is. Yeah, this part of the mod desperately needs a fucking map, man. It's so hard to know where everyone is. go back on this bit.
Oh, this guy's in the fucking park. Oh my god, man. Fuck's sake. Oh, there's only going to be two on this entire side. And I'm going to fucking fail. Again with nine. Oh my god, I looked away for half a second to look at my minima. Yeah, I'm just fucked now. And that guy with insta kills me. Oh, shotguns are so fun, man. They're so interesting. I definitely made a mistake there. Should have known that he had a shotgun that would insta kill me, obviously. Skill issue, I think. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Warris. It was a good laugh. Ah, yes. Just 400 cars ramming me instantly the second I fucking come here. Nice one, guys. At least if I'm quick, I can kill this guy before he disappears off. There we go. It's a lot better. Hey, Skentic. What's up? Going for this guy all the way down here isn't worth it either, I don't think. Unless I can look out with spawns, like if he spawns ones all the way down. Did I play the Lost Mod GTA 3? You're going to have to be a bit more specific than that. I have no idea what mod you're referring to. What the fuck? Okay. Backflipped off my own fucking side of my car. Nice. Now two have spawned behind me. The one you announced with zombies. Oh, that's a Vice City mod. And yeah, I played it on last stream. The YouTube video of it will be up uh, tonight at 7pm UK time. If you want to rewatch it. It's like edited down, but... Yeah. There we go. We're like, this is going much better this time. Are these spawns random? Like, I genuinely can't tell if they're scripted or if they're random. I can just leave this guy there and he'll die. Yeah. Give me a car, please. For fuck's sake. Two fast cars and they're both just driving in the opposite fucking direction. And of course, the second I grab one, there's a fucking cop car right here. Classic. At that point, I don't even know if it's worth fucking switching, to be honest with you. Why is this guy in the weirdest fucking place? And the guy down here despawned. Ah, oh my god. Fucking shoot me. Alright, one more. Surely I can kill one more. Surely. Nice. Good. Now we can drive to Azuka's, I guess. Oh no, I should do a Casino Calamity while I'm down here. what I should do.
Yeah, like every Vice City mod on planet Earth PHP has twin towers. Even the fucking Bangladesh one, dude. <clears throat> Yeah, you, you can watch the VOD on Twitch, Skentic. It's up to you. Um, but, you know, some people prefer to watch things on YouTube edited down with all the boring parts removed. Some people prefer to watch it live, you know. Well, live. Yeah. Completely up to you which one you want to watch. I was going to say some people like watching it on Twitch because it has chat replay. But I have chat on screen, so YouTube also has chat replay. So, yeah. They're both pretty equal, I think. I prefer watching things on YouTube because YouTube's player is way better than Twitch's. Hi, YouTube. Yeah. Sadly, uh, the chat won't be on screen during the uh, the recording of this. It's literally just the gameplay on the right hand side. I have another OBS recording that is literally just recording the gameplay. I'll show you. There. I literally just have this just recording the gameplay with no mic or anything. Now I need help about a phone if someone can help me. Um, what's what's your question? All right. Um, what else can I do? What were the other? What were the two ones installed tonight? I talked about. Oh yeah, the one in the stadium. Uh, we can do those. We'll go and do stadium, then we'll go and do the one on the shipwreck. We'll go and get them out the way. Is that some S21, S22? Uh, I know, I'm a OnePlus geek, sorry. What if somebody female plays this? How do they know that she's a man? What? <laughs> Not sure I fully understand the question. One plus unfollows. Hey, I like one plus. I got my phone, my one plus six T. For how much did I pay? Like four hundred quid in twenty nineteen from John Lewis, and it still works flawlessly as though I just bought it. It's fucking mint. Oh, this was a bit silly. I think. There we go. 6T was goated. It still is goated. Oh, it says big man, big W, right. I mean, women can still be men, you know. Nothing wrong with that. Ugh. 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 This could have been my guy. Just moan every time you get a collectible. It makes you go faster. Easy. Don't flip. Ooh. <laughs> Shit, how do I get out of this? Fuck, I need to get out because I need to stall this. Ooh. Get me out. Bro, why is this so hard? I'm only trying to go up like basically a fucking steep incline. Just go up, dude. Man, fuck this. <laughs> That's some bullshit, if you ask me. Bro, can I get out of any? There we go. 
We'll have to come back out. Uh, come back. Come, yeah, come back at some point. Because I need that Luigi cart. <laughs> well, I don't need it, but it's very beneficial for later missions. <laughs> Alright, now for the much harder Staunton one. Alright. Landstalker's there. I should be able to save, like, here. And still spawn it in. With any luck. Alright, this one is easy. The only hard part is the fucking, um, what's it called? Is the original jump. Like, the original jump onto the ship is fucking rock hard. But the rest of it's piss easy. Well, the final jump's a bit tricky, but... It's not that bad. But this fucking piece of shit jump sucks. Yeah, because you'll just flip like 90% of the time. All right, at least it spawns in. That's good. So we can quickly retry it. How did a container ship even get into this passage? Maybe the ship was there before the land formed. Have you ever considered that? Ugh. Fuck. I still have no strategy for this at all. I don't know if there even is one. Take a look at the Easter egg on board. Is that the one that says, like, uh, alluding to the fact that you always have shipwrecks in your mods? Kai, what was your strat for getting onto the boat? Did you Did you have one or did you just wing it? Because mine is just throw myself at it and see what happens. Wing it? Okay. I thought so. I thought I'd ask just in case you'd figured this out. Because I certainly have not. <laughs> you need like the perfect amount of speed to not hit the first railing. But then also not just overshoot and flip off the uh, the orange part there. So it's like, you know... It's it's very precise for a land stalker jump. Dude, nice. Alright, freest mission you've ever seen. Because literally every other pickup except the last jump is super free. This one. Does let shoot us the last jump to do, but this last jump is not easy by any means. I think I did it here, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's here. Uh! 
Easy. Never any doubt. I did one gap further. I tried to do that gap, but it like was way less consistent for me because I'd always hit the railing when I'd try and get like a good angle on it. But that feels like the intended angle that I didn't do, you know? Like, I feel like I don't do that the intended way, but it seemed way easier for me, at least. All right, cool. Uh, let's go do King Courtney. We need a semi-decent car. <sighs> for a bling bling scramble. Hoping for like a cop car or something if with any luck. Mm. Mm. Oh, I can hear something good behind me. Banshee! Fuck, it's a green light, it's gonna drive away. No! Fuck. Oh, a red light. Never mind, I'm gaming. Come back! Aha, easy. Big noob. Yeah, I didn't even drown at the end of it, which I did on my first try. Sorry, bud. Nothing personal. <laughs> One of them's in a tank? I didn't even notice that. That is fucked up. Yoink. Yoink. Fuck. Yoink. <laughs> nice one, idiot. Yoink. Easy. No, you bastard. Oh, and then they ran me into it. Free. No. GG. Minus one. Minus two, I think, as well. Don't think I'll get this one. Oh, no. They're just trolling, I guess. Fuck off. Hey, Trashmas, what's up? Can you grab that one? Yeah. Four stars? I don't remember getting four stars in this, Jesus. Well, I've got eight now, so I'm basically, basically unlosable. I might as well just go in AFK back at the thing and pay and spray to get rid of the cops. Yeah, I might, I might as well just go and pay and spray. No point in risking failure at this point.
This is the strat. Just give the middle finger to the uh, to this truck driver for no reason. I guess I'll go and get this one because it'll take them forever otherwise. Hey, Liv. Yeah, giving him the old fucking E-Ben finger. I respect it. Should be the last one, I think. Yeah. Then we'll get an auto save. We can load it straight away. Don't care if I lose my car because... I, I, I don't, can't use my car for this one anyway. She got back from an hour walk because you inspired me with your bike rides. Nice. Hope you had a peaceful time. <sighs> Decoy also cost me like 19 minutes and five years of my life. Yeah. It's it's a great way to decrease your life expectancy <laughs> doing decoy attempts. It's uh it's rough. That's for sure. Ah, yes, just mount the fucking car. Absolutely. That is what I was going for there. That's my strategy. Okay, so you want to grab this car and you want to butt fuck it as hard as you can. Because it's just, you know, no particular reason, it's just kind of hot. Any more guys? I had no idea what a noodle car is. That's good to know, though. It might be quite useful in some missions because obviously it's so fast. There we go, that's time. I'm going. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I got shot so much. My car was full health because I just pay and sprayed it. I ran over one guy and I somehow got shot so much that I got set on fire. That's fucking crazy. So fucking accurate. Fucking bullshit mission. <sighs> Thank God for this trip, Skip. Otherwise, I'd be furious. Imagine no trip, Skip, on decoy. Yeah. Uh, fucking tragic. Spray to be safe. 
Red, Cell, Red Cartel Cruiser looks sick, yeah. Cartel Cruisers look sick, I think, regardless. Like, even the blue one looks really cool. It's just that you're like, you know, you get used to the blue color because you're, you're used to having it all the time because they're always blue and original. But it does look cool. Just by default, I think. Yeah. You know what I think re looks really cool? Um, like the dark blue Banshee color. That you also can't get in vanilla for whatever reason. I think that looks really cool. Like this color, but on a Banshee. It looks awesome. Oops. Speak of the devil. Getting shot up by my own guys. Nice. I might as well stall this actually now. Save having to get one on Liberator. I really like how the white blue Yakuza Stinger looks. Oh yeah, 100%. The blue Stinger looks sick. Chinatown and bridge is faster and safer for the exit maybe. Maybe, I don't know about safer because you just have to deal with the triads and um, potentially Mafia instead of just the Diablos. Uh, I need to be up north actually. Might be a bit faster, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like leaving towards the tunnel is efficient enough to be, to not recur, 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 require like a redo, you know? Right. Back to Portland we go. Um, I guess tunnel would make more sense here. How many extra color palettes for cars can the game handle? I'm pretty sure like basically infinite, right? Because Rainbow Miser just literally adds a random like RGB value to everything. So like every element the game can possibly have a color for and that works fine. So I'm pretty sure like the, if there is a limit, it is extremely high. Come back here, you fucking geek. Ah, yes. Oh, fuck off. I had such a perfect opportunity to block him in there. But, of course, fucking tire popping. Fun. Wee! I love it when random elements make the mission significantly more hard. It's so interesting. Hey, look at that. Just get lucky, lol. Oh, never mind, lol. Okay, this is a redo. Definitely my fault that I uh, struggled to complete that mission there.
100% my bad, guys. New strat. Grab a random Diablo off the street and keep paying spraying it until it's gold and then hand it in. Real shit. Hey Mikey, what's up? Yeah, back probably. Showing on Easter Sunday, yeah, likewise. I, uh, I went out for a bike ride this morning. Did uh, five miles or so. Had some lunch. Then uh, just you know, being a huge fucking degenerate and playing games all day. This guy is in a really inconvenient location. Yep, there we go again. Pop tires, dude. Super awesome and epic. Yep. He doesn't even flinch from me banging into him, but like half of my car falls off and makes me spin out. God, just get in. I'm dead to shotguns, I think. Luckily, they hit the other car next to me. But all of my tires are popped. Yeah, I am fucked. One more shotgun blast and I'm dead. I need to get out of here. I can't get to the pain spray. I'll get killed. here now. I have to go around. And I've got cops, because of course I do. <laughs> this cop's going to stun lock me to death. I can already see it coming. to avoid the gangs because my car's on such low hill. Hey Wolf, thank you. part we have to go all the way back to Portland again to get a fucking Mafia Sentinel oh, 
Car's nearly wrecked. Ah, yes. Nearly wrecked. Scraped one side of one door. Oh my god, it's, how, is it, or it, how is it still functioning? Whatever game. Hey, Hustle. What's up? How was your donation reading shift? <sighs> Left after six hours. I turned it off within about 15 minutes because I just couldn't watch because of all the shitty production. Hey, Sadness, what's up? Oh yeah, Sad Anus. Sorry, I I gave you the benefit of doubt and assumed your name was, uh, <laughs> was something a bit more normal. My bad, Sad Anus, welcome. Hey, Dark, what's up? Clueless, truly. Hey, Apache. Likewise, brother. How did that? Not consider the car nearly wrecked, but... Scraping my door the tiniest bit did. Some bullshit. <clears throat> Where is UKSG held? It's held in uh, Glasgow. So it'll be my first time going to Scotland, which is very exciting. Never been to Scotland before. 
All right, Kingdom Come, let's go. I'm gonna Kingdom Come in a minute, if you know what I'm saying. Anyone? Hello? Is this thing on? Is Scotland the one where they pay with Euros, or is that Ireland? It's Ireland. And many other countries, but Ireland is one of them. Aren't you Scottish? What the fuck is wrong with you, Paolo, you fucking freak? How dare you say that to me? If that was a joke, that wasn't very funny, Paolo. And I expect an apology immediately. How did we pass this mission last time? Didn't we use like a hundred rockets and I don't have rockets at this point? Hey, Zero God. That is a huge life hack hustle. Absolutely huge. Sorry, Chav. Shut the fuck up, you little rat. I don't even have time to blow this fucking thing up. I don't even have an M16. I have no bullets. Fucking hell. Now what do I do? Come to Daddy. How do I destroy these things? Grenades? I guess. Special delivery. But grenades don't help me with, you know, the guys running at me. I'm gonna need to, like, shoot them. Ah! I'm dead. Yep. I'm just gonna get stun locked. Yep. Uh, I don't have the guns for this, man. Fuck's sake. Again, all because I got unlucky like six missions ago and didn't get nearly as much M16 ammo as I was supposed to. Fucking brilliant. I forgot, I need a car for this. Need a fast, decent car. Doesn't even need to be that fast. Just can't be a piece of shit. And I can't have no car. Cop car. <laughs> Alright. I guess this way is a bit faster. Actually, is it? I don't think it is. Could you unlock Phil's guns and come back to this later? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But it kind of did, like... I, I really want to do this in like a, you know, start a chain, finish the chain, then go on to the next chain. Because otherwise you have issues of like potentially missing missions and stuff. Whereas if you did them in a very particular order, chain by chain, you can never, you can never miss a mission, you know? That's my idea. Yeah. This is not going to be the easiest thing. Because I still have no idea what proof these things are, or if they just have more health, or what. Like, I have no idea. I feel like the best thing to do is to use these guys to blow them up, right? Yeah, that, that's a good strategy, actually. 
Just keep shooting them. And let me slowly get closer and closer to the other vans. And then get to the point where I can just like stun lock them. That's actually a really good strategy. I'm a genius. Then there's nothing they can do. They just keep blowing them up like. There you go. Easy. I'm so intelligent, it's crazy. That was huge. It's almost like you're the person making the mission guide. Yeah, usually people making guides have an idea of what they want to do before they attempt to make the guide. But I'm just like, yeah, I'll start the mission and probably figure out a strategy on the way, you know. If not, eh, whatever. Yeah, that was pretty good, actually. I'll definitely make sure to say during the guide, like, you know, if you don't, if you, if you're confident enough with, you know, not missing missions to the point where you want to do your own mission order then it would be better to go and do fills first um, and get better guns and come back. But this is how you do it with basic weapons if you're a fucking Chad like me. If you're an absolute fucking legend. Cool. Back to main missions. Next time, just do it with a pistol to prove your point. Was an SMG not enough? It's fucked up. Whee! I, I forgot... Wait, hold on. I forgot this guy mugs you off and just goes this way. Can you can you just not get in the boat? Like, can you just, like, snipe him? I wonder. Like, can you just start the mission and just fucking... Just go and stand at the other dock and snipe his ass? I wonder. Oh no, you fail if you... Okay. Huh. Such a good song? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's very good. Okay, so there's quite a small radius on this. Oh, you can just do this instead. This is way easier. Where is he? I can't see him. <laughs> that little cheater. There he is. I want to try and kill him early. I want to try and get him nice and early. Like, you don't have enough time. He already gets out there because he like teleports out. You can just catch him here instead. <laughs> Easy. Yoink.
Yeah, it's a Top Gear song. Yeah. Wonder how fast this car is. Can I do this in this car? It feels pretty fast. Yeah, it should be easy. This thing's zoomy. Kind of slow to accelerate, but once it gets up there, it's it is pretty zoom zoom. Cord's ability to see in the future seems like an unfair advantage. True. But you know, I mean, I, di I didn't give that to him. It's not Luigi Kart, but it's fine. Yeah, it's not quite as good as Luigi Kart, sadly, but... You know. We can't all get what we want all the time, you know. Jesus. Nice, dude. Pop tire. Unlucky. Again, mission becomes significantly more difficult due to something that is completely out of my control. Very poggers. I just need to run to this. Stop the timer. Even if it makes me take a bit of damage. It was either that or fail the mission, so. I'd rather take a bit of damage, but still fail the mission. Oh, but not fail the mission even. Furnace behind me, but I missed it. Ah, yes, yeah, 700 yardies, please. Cheers, guys. Gents. Mmm, there goes half my health. Hey, look, you remember when I had that car that was there just a second ago? And now it just disappeared. Hey guys, what's up? Yep, there's just so many. Look at this. What a great mechanic, dude. Super balanced mechanic. Mmm, more of them. Crazy. Yep. 
Yep. Hmm, another pop tire. Fun. You know what might be good? Using my last rocket on a... I'm undecided on either using it on McCaffrey, if you still can, or... Uh, or Tanner. But I don't know if either of them can be rocketed. Is the problem. Like, for all I know, I could save it for what's-his-face and then he could be fucking bulletproof or explosion-proof, even. Could save it for McCaffrey. Rob, if you're here, um, what properties does McCaffrey's car have? Does he just have boosted health or is he certain proofs or what? Oh, this, this is a security car, so there's no way I'm rocketing this. I'm better off just AKing it. Again, I could M16 this, but... Got unlucky, so. Oh my god. Nice one, guy. Crazy. That's a uh, Tanner for you, Kai, if you're still here. At least you can get the, the full authentic experience of seeing it firsthand. You're welcome. <laughs> You didn't miss too much. If it, you know, it's any consolation. The mission is pretty basic. There's just a deceiving health bar and um, a security car. That's about it. Alright, let's see if we can rocket McCaffrey down.
Yeah, easy enough. <laughs> nice. And now we get the Armored Patriot, which will make some missions significantly easier. Patriot now. You did us jump in this. We. Ooh. <laughs> Claude, what are you doing? God damn, they're here. All right, I got two hit. Cool. Uh, so that's a problem because I barely have any time to move because of the quick save bug. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. I feel like I'll be fine as long as I can just properly get into the thing because I was just pushed up against the wall. So maybe the jump isn't the smartest thing I've ever done. I guess also the uh, the jump will just do damage to the car, so. It's also not a smart thing to do for that reason as well. This will be a lot better. Try and rocket the guys. I grenade them even. There's one guy left. Two guys even. Easy. It's a really good strat with the nades. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> Just chilling. Very nice. You want the chainsaw? Bingo, bingo, bingo. 
Easy. Wow, so many people sitting inside on the Lord's Day praising Grand Theft instead of the Grand Lord. Jesus Christ. So true, Counterpillow. Honestly. So fucking true. Alright, that's probably enough. Now I can just M16 everything down and I'll be unstoppable. Okay, evidence dash. Uh, Armoured Patriot makes sense for this too. <laughs> when in doubt, Armoured Patriot. Where the fuck is my Armoured Patriot? Just in case. I was trying to drown this fucker. The question is, how? If he has a random pattern, how the fuck do you drown him? So we'll go for my original idea, which is to hit him once and then never pick up the first package. Never pick it up. And now just follow him until he gets uh, near a bit of ocean and then just try and box him in. It's my plan. Yeah, don't go that way, please. Jesus, make up your fucking mind. Man. Ideally, he goes underneath the bridge. It's a super easy way to just push him off. Until he gets to American beer, fucking close to water, yeah. He gets to uh, Bud Light, or whatever people say that is like basically water nowadays. Beer flavored water, mmm. Tasty. Alright, this is good, maybe. Yeah. I might have even been able to push him down that hill, get him a bit closer. Good. This is my chance. Ugh! Yeah! 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 
Worth it. So worth it. <laughs> but also, I'm going to record it the other way as well. Because, uh, yeah, it's... <laughs> It's pretty inconsistent, so I'm going to show it the other way as well. How to do it the normal way. Because, yeah. Because this... Writing a guide and just being like, lol, just do that, is stupid to expect of people, you know. So we'll just do it the other way as well. This should be fairly free. I forget after how many times your wanted level stops increasing. I think it's after three hits. And after that, pain spraying makes it way easier. But I don't remember, honestly. Like a five second long video saying just do it yourself. LOL. Do not want to hit him when he's turning like that. Only on a straight road. When I can go next to him. Like that. I'm very surprised that cop did not hit the barrel. Very surprised. I'm slightly impressed. So far, so good. Yeah, that's not quite what I wanted. You only keep two stars the whole time. It's probably not even worth pain spraying, to be honest. As hard as that guy tried to get me killed. Didn't do a particularly good job. Where are you going? It's fine. It's fine. Another got a good opportunity to sink him here if I wanted to. Oops. Collect it. There we go. I wonder how many rockets it needs. Just a uh, grenade. Just the one. There we go. Nice. I'm going to leave uh, Ray's chain for now because we can't complete it until later anyway. We have to complete uh, Grand Theft Auto first. So I'll do Donald's until then.
Just in case I need a fast car for whatever reason here. So here, I don't even know if I need to care about a lot of these guys. Especially the ones over here. Because instead I'm going in here. I'll kill them anyway, because why not? May as well be safe. Hey, look at this guy. He's gone. I swear to you that there was a guy right there. You could probably even, like, do this to kill him. <laughs> yep. Then you care about the free ammo. I have pretty much infinite ammo at this point. Um, I really don't need to care about it. Because I can just buy M16 for super cheap. At a... what's it called? Whoops. Mr. Gentleman. First name Old Oriental, second name Gentleman. Oh, there's a there's a thingy, a fixed cartel cruiser right there. Good to know. Oh yeah, I just saw your message now, Rob. About okay, yeah. <clears throat> Good to know. Good to know that I was being a bit silly by storing it in the garage. Nice dude. And four stars, brilliant. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Awesome, man. <laughs> how how on earth do I fail the mission there? Like, the amount of unlucky shit that has to happen in a row for me to fail that mission is just so crazy. So fucking crazy. Like, the physics has to fuck me over for me to spin out hitting that blockade, which doesn't usually happen then I have to be fucking set on fire by the cops and then I have to get blocked in by the fucking combination of the cops and the old oriental gentleman to make it so I couldn't escape and he would die. Fucking crazy. <sighs> what a word of shit.
Did I mess with my mic gain? No. I haven't touched it in weeks at this point. Why, are you now going to tell me that my mic has been, like, unlistenable the entire time? When I've been live for over two hours and nobody said anything? I love those. Those are my favorite comments. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, your, your mic's been muted this whole time. Or it's too loud or it's too quiet or whatever. It's like, oh great, just guess I'll just go fuck myself. It's clipping when I get loud. I don't think that's a gain issue. I can probably just nade a couple of these guys through the wall. Yeah, I can. I wonder who I killed there. Ah, yes. Nice, I killed these guys. Oh my fucking god. Hello? Fucking god, man. Hey look, do the exact same thing twice in a row and one time I fail and one time I pass. Weird. How strange. So you said the other one spawns inside the Kingdom Come car park. Okay, so I, I can load the autosave, and even though I'll lose my car, I can just go and grab it. Run down the alley in front of loves. I assume you mean this. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, I wonder if I need armor for this or not. How the fuck do I get in here? What the fuck? 
The only good ludicrous song. Yeah, I do have the Sum 41 version on here as well. Do I really go down here? Oh yeah, I do. Okay. Oh, if you get out like even close to it, you just fail. Okay, good to know. I was gonna say, can I get out and snipe them? But that's my answer. I don't think I need armor or anything. There are two entrances. I'm just gonna go with what I'm familiar with. Like, I, I thought I wouldn't fail unless I triggered this cutscene and then got out of the car. But. It's so foggy, I can barely fucking see who's who. Alright, let's. Alright. And then one over Kenji. But don't kill the other guys. Back in cartel territory. And there's a random guy with a fucking shotgun there. Why? Haha, <sighs> <laughs> gotcha. Hey, all of a sudden, those guys' AI is different. I literally did the exact same thing twice in a row, but now those guys that were stood just against the wall in both of my playthroughs are now all of a sudden coming at me. Cool, man. Guess I'll try again until some, you know, some actual consistency happens. Just sometimes they run at you, sometimes they don't. Gigastra, I did this around the Yakuza singer into Kenji part right next to him. The funny thing is, Kai, is in my casual playthrough, I legit had zero issues with this mission. And I did the exact same thing that I'm trying to do now. But. That guy with a shotgun is just so cheap and I forgot about him. And then this time, like, the AI just acts completely differently to how it's been acting every other attempt. Like... Like, why do these guys, like, enter cars and then just to leave again? It doesn't make any sense.
Like, what is this guy doing? He's gonna blow himself up and blow me up! What the fuck? Like, every single time I die to something else. Because the AI just doesn't fucking act normally at all. Add random Yakuza guy decides to blow himself up and kill me in the process to things that can fuck you over in this mission. Like, I didn't think this one would be one that I would struggle on at all. Like the music on your stream? Thanks, I wrote it all myself. That's not true. I lied. I wish I could see two feet in front of me. That would be really cool. Because I'm trying to kill this guy. And I have no, no clue if he's dead or not. I'm pretty sure he's dead. These guys reacting this time or what? Yep, now they just react. Like, it doesn't make any sense. They're always in different positions and they're always looking different directions and they're always shooting different things. Like, I, I genuinely don't understand. Like, I attempted this mission twice when I did it the first time. Because the first time, I killed everyone by mistake and failed. Because, obviously, if you kill all the witnesses, it's a mission fail. And then I did it the second time, and I left those two guys alive near Kenji. And I had no issues. But magically now, just everything about this mission has just all of a sudden turned really random for no good reason. Like, no individual NPC has the same behavior pattern that it has the next attempt. It they do completely random shit. They just they just they just walk in random places, enter random cars, shoot random things. Like how are you supposed to formulize or formulate any kind of strategy when everything about this mission is random? This guy is always in a different position. Every single fucking time. <laughs> like, this is not a consistent strategy at all. Just face tanking that guy with an Uzi is really dumb. Fucking dumb mission. I love spawning in and instantly having five different people trying to kill me. It's very PogChamp. And not dumb at all.
I got some health as well before I do to. Okay, Bobo's what? What's that? Nice one. Is that a package there? It is. Fuck. I think I'm still fine. Nice tank. The fact that this thing almost killed me is gross. Look at that. Crazy. And it almost killed me after I pain sprayed as well, which is the funniest part. Even though it wasn't even trying to kill me, it almost still did. Actually, I don't know if I need to complete Grand Theft Arrow to unlock Marked Man. GT3 Mission Tree. It might just be complete a detail because now uh, Shoreside is unlocked. Is there a GT3 Mission Tree anywhere? GT3 mission progression guide. No more rage quitting. No, this is not useful to me. Staunton, Ray.
Marked man. Does it say how to unlock it? Mission objectives, location. I don't think it says how to unlock the mission. Yeah, no idea. Uh, we'll try and do it. We'll we'll do plus the blaster now. We'll we'll save here, in like sh slot eight, and then we can always come back to it if I do it the wrong way. Because I would rather do raise missions back to back. I'm also going to explore the idea of fighting my way up through the bridge. To see if it's doable with like rockets and stuff for Marked Man. I have no idea if it's possible, but it might be. Oh, I gotta do gum fishing first. Gum fishing plus the buster. Yeah. Oh, does this require going to Portland? I think it does. Yeah, it does. Fuck. I wonder actually if you could do the regular gun fishing snipe. Uh, gun fishing speedrun. GTA 3. None of these are useful to me. Uh, GTA 3, all missions. Speed on fuck's sake. Grand Theft Auto. An ESA run, perfect. Actually, no, this is a bad idea because it doesn't have splits. And I don't know what fucking order they do things in. One of them insta passes it, which is annoying, but. I don't think all missions does. Gone fishing, here we go. Decoy is supposed to go. Gone fishing is already done here. Oh, you do insta pass gun fishing in all missions? Fuck. Do you insta pass it in 100%? This pasta blaster, so that's way before. It's not even marked on the fucking thing. Fuck's sake, man. Why is it so hard to find anyone completing fucking gun fishing the quick way? 
This is the hardest thing I've ever seen in my life. Hi, grief for Jesus. Please don't post ASCII shit in my chatter again or you will be removed. Thank you. Maybe like an IL of it, but the IL is probably going to do some real stupid shit. But I could probably find like a shit tier IL that doesn't that just does the mission fast. Gone fishing. Yeah, someone does it in six seconds. Powernet does it in one thirty. One thirty is surely just sniping him, right? It's not just like a one hit kill though. He like snipes it like 10 times from Portland. That's kind of shit. Yeah, all the ILs do that. Fuck that. It's not worth it. Might as well just, if you still have to go to Portland anyway, then you might as well just do it the intended way. For some reason I had it in my head that you could like snipe him like really easily and skip going to Portland and stuff, but apparently not. Because he's like all the way near the lighthouse, which is fucking miles away. Oh well. It's always worth checking that kind of stuff. I just started doing this mission the intended way because it's the same with uh, Kelly Bob and cutting the grass. Like he just has like a really weird pattern and just like drives around in circles and it just always looks so goofy. Should I? <sighs> like eventually he beats himself, but it takes long and it's just a pain. Honestly, not even sure what's different in this mission. He drops more barrels, I guess. Or 
or it can only be damaged when he drops barrels or something, I don't know. Maybe I was just out of range the first time. Drops more barrels, dries faster, notices you earlier. Yeah. Eh! It's fine, I set him on fire anyway, I think. Time I want a cop car to spawn, just none to be seen. Oh, oh hey guys! Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. Should have a timer. I don't remember. No. Oh, I should load that save to get rid of the three stars. It probably won't matter because I'll probably get three stars again instantly anyway. But whatever. All this damage bar taking up half my screen. I can definitely see what I'm doing, guys. Hey, look, three stars again. Just as predicted. Don't remember if bullets work or if... Or if I need to ram him. I don't remember. Guys, do you mind if I drive? I oh, know, okay, fair enough. I guess I'm not allowed to drive my car today, guys. I think it's probably not worth paying spraying for this. I'll probably just get stars back if I pain spray and then come back again. Jesus fucking Christ, the amount of damage you need to do is crazy. Oh, a DM16 can fuck right off. Which one is he? This guy. Mmm, yes. Is this guy gonna die or? Have it your way. 
Alright, man. <laughs> they shot my fucking grenade. Do you see that? Crazy. Is this guy explosion proof too, or what? No, there we go. Crazy. Okay, Markman is available, which is good. I'm gonna go and see- I'm gonna see if I can fight my way through the bridge. Cause I have some pretty heavy weaponry. Uh, I'm gonna go and grab the uh, armored, what's it called as well? The armored, um... I'm a patriot. I think it'll help. Go Rayington. Let's have a look. <laughs> How guarded is this bridge? Where are they? Is that it? No way, right? Where the fuck is Ray? Why is Ray teleported? This is so stupid, man. This also needs to be fixed. When you get out of a car in this mission, Ray just teleports. Or not? Where is he? He's apparently right here. Yeah, nice one, man. Fun. Like, why is he not following me? He does in the original. But in this, he just has a mind of his own and just fucks around. It's so daft. Like, this strat seems so doable if Ray just works the way he's supposed to. Uh, I want to grab some armor as well. And the Briso.
Please don't run off, right? But there's no way there's just those guys. There's no way. There's more. Uh, well, that complicates things because the bridge is on a fucking cycle as well and I don't have time to like slowly kill these guys. Fuck's sake. Because if I get out and kill those guys and I miss the bridge cycle and I'm just fucked because it takes like 30 seconds for it to come back down and that's like a quarter of my time and like half my remaining time gone. It's just not doable. So you just have to be quick enough. Fuck you. It's so annoying because it's on a, like a constant turn. So like you can't really do anything to like get in a position where you can get the jump on them. Like they're in they're in perfect positions to always have the first shot on you. And in this case, the first shot is just death. Because they all have M16s. So annoying. But the intended way is so much worse. So I'm still convinced this is worth at least trying to figure out. Like, maybe the tunnels or the subways might be a better way. I don't know. But this is just so much quicker. Bastard. There's guys here as well. See you as well. Okay, well now we just need to go. Yeah, I mean that works. 
Even going super safe and killing all the M16 guys, that's way better than in the original one. Way, way better. Steal a tank for this mission and just run it down. Where where do I get a tank from? If you know of any convenient places to grab one, then do let me know. But the only way that I can think of to possibly get one is to get six stars. And that is so out of the realms of A, being worth it because of how long it would take. And B, how inconsistent it would be to get six stars and not get killed. And on the process, like, it's just not worth it. Grab a dodo from a recent Portland trip. Again, like, you need to understand that I'm making this guide for people who, like, you know, watch guides for these kind of things. Like, the less dodo, the better. Because, you know, you can only assume that these people won't have a clue how to fly a dodo. I can definitely see what I'm, where I'm going, guys. Yep. I'm just completely stuck. Cheers, guys. There goes half my armor. Alright. I feel like that is easy enough that anyone can do it with enough practice. Yep. Fun. You fucking dare delete that game. <sighs> dare. Thank you for retrieving. Right. Yo, any any vehicles? Thanks, buddy. No, the intended way, Kai, is to follow the blue marker, and it takes you to that same jump that you did on with the Landstalker onto the shipwreck. And you jump across the shipwreck, across to Shoreside, and then go all the way around Shoreside to the airport. But it is so stupidly hard to do. Like, I used the Luigi cart, which is like the f one of the fastest cars in the game. It's probably the fastest car in terms of raw top speed. And I did a stunt jump to, like, cut a big part of Shoreside out to jump over to the bridge, and I still made it with, like, five seconds left. And that was after, like, several tries of failing. Like, it's so fucking brutal doing it the intended way. So that bit where you just snipe the guys one by one and just drive across the bridge is so much better. Because I was doing that really slow and safe, and I still had enough time. So yeah. Definitely worse. Oh yeah, I forgot about all these guys, lol. Yep. That's my bad. That's just me being a bit silly. 
Ah, huge hitbox. Oh, what a shot. I didn't even mean to kill that guy. Oh, this guy is going to have a really bad day. <laughs> that guy has made a grave fucking mistake. I'll use the dodo here because it's just faster. But, you know, you can literally just drive back. It doesn't make a difference. Oh, by boat, I thought you meant like take a boat and drive it from the docks, Kai. But yes, in that case, yeah, that's the intended way that you're referring to. But yeah, it's fucking nuts. So. I reckon there's a way to skip this bit. There has to be. There has to be a way to like, get clips through this or something. I'm sure of it. I'm not gonna try and figure it out now, but I'm convinced it exists. That guy ran out of ammo. <laughs> nice dude. Bro, this guy has mega health. Quick scope. <laughs> I missed. Nice. You ever just go to jump forward and then a corpse just somehow launches you off? Yeah, same. Either it was that corpse that had that still had collision for some reason, or there was just some really fucked up geometry there, but at no point did I intend to drop down there. But the game just launched me down for no reason. Thanks, man. Well, there goes 10 minutes of my time wasted. Thank you for retrieving. I just love setting fire to my time, don't you? Literally the last guy alive. And he just does like 90 damage to me because of a bug. Crazy.
And like, even if I would have fucking dropped down and killed the guy, it just looks so, so sloppy that it would have been a fucking reset anyway. Just grim. If you get high enough, you can probably just fly the dodo right in, to be honest. Stuck again. Yep. <laughs> Believe you can crash the dodo, dodo in, but it's sketchy because it can't reliably land flat. Yeah. Try find the dodo straight in, basically impossible without blowing up the dodo before you can get out. Yeah. But think of all the time saved, man. There, there, there must be a way to get from, like, the entrance where you land the dodo, you know, where, like, the park cruiser is. Through to where the lift is. There has to be a way. Because you'd skip a huge fight. You could maybe even like land on, you see where that like container is up there? You could, I don't even know if it has collision, but you could maybe like land here somewhere and then just like jump in and activate the lift. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I'm not gonna do that for the guide because obviously it's like stupid to expect random players to do that, but it's definitely doable for like high level players, 100%. Tell me how that wasn't a hit. I could have sworn I killed that guy last time before I even got up here, but I guess I just didn't this time. I don't even know when I killed him last time, but he was not there on my last attempt. Okay, can this not bug out on me this time, please? I'd be much appreciated. This guy takes four shots? Hello? I'm seeing the blood. I'm hitting him. How much fucking health does that guy have? Like, I'm seeing the blood come out. I, I'm hitting these these things. I'm hitting them. It's not like I'm, I'm hitting, you know, the other geometry or anything. So dumb. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, now. Hello. Bro. Excuse Container has no collision, but the concrete it's on does. Yeah, I mean, it's good enough, right? That's all you need. Uh, how do you trigger this again? You just go, like, near him. Hello? Oh, I need to be near him in a car. Okay. Yeah, I am I am fully intending to just let this guy do his own thing. Fully, fully intending. To just leave this guy alone. Uh, I mean we're gonna, gonna go and get health. And just leave him to it. I'll get health, armor. And yeah, just sit and twiddle my thumbs for a bit. I remember there is a point where you do have to go to Shoreside, I think. Right? I'm pretty sure. Like, eventually the mission, you do need to actually go and, like, trigger him to go to the next checkpoint or whatever, but... I'm gonna stay on the east side. <clears throat> I was wondering if you'd remember that, yeah. I do vaguely remember. Remember I struggled with that on Definitive, because I forgot. Yep, please keep shooting me. Grab a new car, because why not? We've got time. I don't know when I have to go to Shoreside though. But I just know I have to go at some point. So I guess I'll just like sit on the bridge because then I can't get screwed by gangs or anything. You know? I'll just go and AFK on the bridge. Cause I'm pretty sure it's when he's in the tunnels at some point. So I'll just like sit here, I guess. Does this work? I'll just like sit here and wait. <laughs> He's still driving, I can see him move. Still driving. I guess I'll just wait until the red thing stops moving, right? Stops like jittering about on the map or whatever. And until then I'll just sit in AFK. To anyone who's got a headache, I do apologize. <laughs> Louder feels good, man. Clap.
I'll go now, I guess. I don't know if he's already come out the tunnel or not. I was tabbed out. I know he's coming through the tunnel now. We could probably just like wait at the destination now, to be honest. Actually, I guess we shouldn't sit at the destination. Because if you sit at the destination, then... Uh... Then guys will probably spawn at the destination and you'll fail. So probably not the best idea. All right, good luck, buddy. Oh, there's one guy here that we can kill, I guess. Just in case he catches him up, because I'm pretty sure he's going to. Yeah. Oh, he's stuck. Great job, man. Of course, this guy had to get stuck. Oh shit. Where are these guys? These guys. Don't blow up. You're right at the end. Fuck off, officer. Is he stuck or is he good? He's good. Easy. Yeah, the better thing to do in that case would have been to just literally like cross onto the bridge later on. Once he'd already come to the tunnels and then just sit and chill. You guys ready for decoy? I sure am. Favorite mission. Not like the vaunted level matters, I'm just about to get six stars anyway. So. Alright, we already know the strat here. Drive to the subway, stick to the grass, get lucky. Don't have a tank land on you from fuck knows where. Where did that tank even come from? My god. Might have to watch the action replay on that one, because I have legit no clue where that guy even came from. Absolutely no idea. Oh, hello. Oh, dear. Here we go. This mission is pure luck, by the way, in case it wasn't obvious. Even with, like, a very...
consistent quote unquote strategy, this mission is pure luck. All depends on where the tank spawns and what they choose to do to you. Oh fuck. Ugh. Oh my god. Well, I'm completely stuck. Cool. Let's try that again. You don't need to apologize for clipping things, Skentus. Skentic. I I encourage people clipping stuff because it makes it easier to make stream highlights videos later. Because if people clip stuff, then I'm like, oh yes, something must have, you know, funny must have happened there. Because loads of people have clipped it, you know. Hardest trick in the game, getting off this ramp. Alright, same again, but don't go all the way down to the fence because you'll get stuck. Ha! Sick backflip tank. I wish I could do backflips in a tank. I went south last time, I think, to Portland. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. You have time to go either way. Just stick to the left side and avoid the trains. Hug the left wall. Or not. <laughs> Hug the left wall. Bounce off your own door and then get flung to the right hand side of the tracks into an oncoming train because of fucked physics. Great, great stuff, guys. Thanks. Okay, what station is this? This is Staunton. South Staunton, I think. Yeah. So it's the next one that we want to be at. We can drive up here, I think. Yeah. Done. Nice. And now we can just wait for a train back. Even though it takes a while, it's better than walking out into here, which is right into the middle of St. Mark's territory and getting one hit by shotgun guys. Alright. Right, I'll be back in a sec.
Now we'll go to Staunton and we'll do, uh... We'll do what's it called? Uh, Love's Disappearance. Why is this method preferred over going to the airport cargo area? Uh, the mission's been modified, so it doesn't say in the brief anymore. Uh, but you have to you have to be in Portland when the mission ends, so you can't go to the airport because if you let the time expire in the airport, you'll fail. Um, I don't remember exactly what the mission says, but it's something along the lines of like, get it out of Shoreside before the timer runs out, and don't put it near Donald's place. So that's you know, implies it's like. Don't put it in Shoreside, and don't put it in Staunton either. So it has to be in Portland somewhere. Otherwise the mission fails at the end. So yeah. You basically just gotta figure out like the most consistent way to get to Portland without getting wrecked by tanks, which is the subway. Alright. Cool. Um, well, we basically just have like shore side missions left. We have one more off road mission to do. We have one more RC mission to do. We have the red phone missions. Is that everything? Aside from obviously um, the main missions? I think that's everything. Yeah. We've pretty much got all the footage already. Ah. Tony's Pork Warehouse time soon, yeah. Uh, Rob, got a question for you. What are the differences in bait? Because I'm pretty sure I did this exactly like the intended way in my playthrough and I didn't have any issues at all. Like, it worked exactly like the vanilla game does. Look at this cheater, what is he doing? And also, can I pull a toughened and kill these guys without them being in the bait trap or not? I assume not, but it's worth asking. Well, I stole for Rob's answer. Pause champ. Da, 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 da. Fairly minimal. It's mostly against dodo strats. Fog is fixed or guards around each cartel car. You kids are less accurate, so you have a higher chance. Oh, okay. Okay, can I kill this guy? Or will I fail? You have to use the trap. Okay, good to know. So basically, you just do it the car way. Fair enough. So in, in that case, I should be able to just get all three and do all three of them at the same time. Which is a little less consistent, but it's consistent enough to be worth doing. 
I don't remember having many issues doing car bait with all three of them. Because you can do them individually, which is like the intended way, but it's kind of slow. How did I not aggro this guy? I drove right fucking past him. Jesus. Do the silent patch. Oh yeah, silent patch actually changes the AI. I completely forgot about that. So yeah, they should actually, you know, actually fucking drive after me and t into the trap. Yeah. I forgot that. I mean, we'll find out. Ah, pop tires. Lovely. Wee. This will be fun now. Because I kind of can't afford to switch cars or anything right now. Unless I want to fail the mission, which I don't. All right, guys, it's all on you now. I'm I'm almost fucked. Get it, get him done. Go off, go off, kings. <clears throat> They're pretty uh, scattered, which is good because if they all come in at the same time, then it's just fucking chaos. But this is pretty good. Yeah, this, these guys coming in as soon as the other ones are dead. As soon as the last guys come in, I can. What hell? Oh, nice. Even better. Cool. Easy. Uh, let's do some shore side missions, shall we? If we can. I'd very much like to get um, this car over to my house so I can store it, use it in the future, and repair it. That would be lovely. Actually, we're going to switch up for this one. I'm still going to store it, but this will just make the, the drive to the house a bit easier. Pretty free? Yeah, I mean. When the AI behaves, it's always been free. The, the, the problem in vanilla is that the AI does not behave. So it's, it's a very, very inconsistent mission. Uh, when is the most convenient time to do Tony's Pork Warehouse? Probably like after Bullion Run or something? Yeah, probably. Because at least then you're on like the east side, I guess. Can't really think of a better place for time. Right now. That's my car, you piece of sh- don't you fucking... Are you serious? Look at this guy here! As soon as I fucking got out, man. I, I went to all that effort to store it in the fucking garage. What a dick. Un unbelievable, man. Unfucking believable Can't have shit. That's what I'm saying. That is what I am saying. At least cops get the fuck out of my way. I'm trying to kill people. He's just doing laps. He's just he just lapped me. It's a flex on me. Do you see that? What a dickhead. I hate when they dive because it just wastes so much time. Bro, fuck off. Bro. I'm not getting enough spawns. Bro, just 
so much fucking traffic just turning us into complete chaos. Not too bad. I'm gonna go back to my house. Actually, it's not worth it. Wait, a good strategy is whenever a cop is chasing you, it temporarily removes gang hostility until you're alone again. Is that true? Is that why they weren't attacking me as much though? That's huge. I didn't know that was a thing. Crazy. Nice to spawn a guy right fucking there. Thanks, fine. Uh, right. Who who is the one who goes into the tunnel? Because that's who I need to kill, but I can never tell who the fuck it is. Or is it because Claude is dressed as a policeman? I mean, if anything, that should make them want to attack me more. Rather than less, Noxart, right? In my, in my view, anyway. Nice, dude. Like, I don't know the order to kill these guys efficiently. I have no idea. But I'm pretty sure their patterns are at least partially fixed. Because this guy is always here when I go for him first. Always, always. These guys are still aiming guns at me the whole time. Okay, no. Oh, fuck off. Fucking random traffic screwing me over of all things. That's really bad. Because it takes me forever to chase these guys because I'm so slow. And chasing these guys is obviously just really fucking bad. Because it just takes forever. Yeah, this guy is dead as soon as he gets out of that car and stops playing with that stupid little remote control thing. <sighs> uh, is this guy in the tunnel now? Like, am I so late he's in the tunnel? I have no idea. I don't know where he is. No way to tell with that armor. Yeah, he's in the tunnel. Um. Yeah, that's kind of fucked then. I don't think I can get to him in time. Hey, Tom. Yeah, I'm fucked. Cool, man. Happy Easter, Tom. Yeah, I need to kill that guy because he's the one who goes into the tunnel and he's such a dickhead. Does he spawn there every time or what? Like, what the fuck, man? No, their spawns are random. Because there was two north of me last time. Why are their spawns random? Why?
There are fixed spawns around the toys vans. Okay. I swear these aren't these spawns aren't random. In the original. I swear down they're not. What's the name of the mission where you need to drive a car without damaging it? Uh, it's rigged to blow, is the one that you're thinking of. Scan to. Did he do it now? That's the next mission after this one. But it's pretty easy. I don't expect to struggle with it much. Alright, now what? This guy's all the way over here. Um, I don't know what the best way to get to him is. I have no idea where he is. This way, maybe? Like, I have no clue. So Rob, did you make these things random? Or what? Like, what's the deal? Because I swear their spawns are fixed in original. But they're not in this. No, please don't do this to me now. Come back, please. No way am I going to fail because I just spun out there. Yeah, look at this. Look how close I am. Unfucking believable. <sighs> this is so frustrating. I didn't change the pathing from vanilla. Man, I, I swear to you they don't spawn in random locations in, in vanilla. I'm not talking about the pathing, I'm talking about the spawns. Like, if you're going to give this little time, they should not be random at all. And they shouldn't be able to go into the tunnels either. Because that's just an instant fail if they do. I'm going to try and go south first. Because this guy's all the way over to the west. The issue is that there's no way to, easy way to get to the west side. At all. You have to drive all the way up that fucking winding road, which is so slow. Hey, Louie. What's up? Like, maybe going for this guy first makes it easier to get the other ones. Like, I don't know. Because maybe they're in more convenient locations closer to where I am. But it doesn't look like it. Actually, going for this one on the west makes sense. Because the guy on that northeast, he's coming around and his only choice is to come close to me. 
So it makes far more sense to get this guy first, I think. Don't go in the water, please. Whew. Fucking hell. With any luck, this next guy will be right next to me. Maybe. Or at least on this next street. Yeah, he is. Nice. And he's driving towards me. Good. But again, like, I have no idea what I did to make that mission work. I just played the best I could every single time and passed the mission, like, one out of every five attempts. Like... There's obviously something I'm either missing there, or... I don't know. There's something going on with that mission. Hey, so I remember to do the RC mission. I should have saved. Whatever. Yeah, the only difficult part about this mission is not flipping the fucking... What's it called? Blister. And driving through the tunnels with a million lane switches is also a pain in the ass as well, but... Most of it's fine. It's a device that you 100% run, but I can't post to YouTube because I used in-game radio and it got copyright striked and I don't know where else to post to run to. Did you just record it, I guess? Like locally? You didn't stream it on Twitch or anything? Your best option is just to upload it anyway and then just use the YouTube tool to mute the bits that have copyright on them. Most likely. Because, yeah, any way you, where you upload it with copyrighted music is going to get blasted. How have I never seen that blister before? I mean, if you're talking about this blister specifically in GTA 3, it's because it's not in the original game. I tried that, but it says the video was too long. Just upload it in segments then. And just make sure the segments overlap. So, you know, there's no, like, missing video. How, how long is the run? Because I'm pretty sure, like... I think any video above like four or five hours, you usually can't use the tool on because it's too long. Yeah. Because it has to reprocess the whole video and it's pain in the ass with really long ones. Like 11 hours. What I would do then is I would cut it up into three segments. The first two are four hours each. And then the third one is just, you know, three hours, whatever's left, basically. And then, yeah, use the tool to mute them. And just make sure, as I said, there's an overlap between the end of part one and the start of part two. 
and so on and so forth. So that, you know, you can actually prove that, you know, the, the run isn't spliced or anything. Not that anyone would splice an 11 hour hundo run, but you know what I mean, like, you know, just, just to make it easier. I think turning off monetization would help solve the problem. No, Noxart. It doesn't matter whether a video is monetized or not. If it if it's got uh, audio that that blocks the video, it gets blocked no matter what. And you know, most people don't even have the option on YouTube to remove monetization on their videos because you have to be a partner for that. All right, uh, we need to go up and pain spray. I only use radio on taxi drivers, so the rest is fine. Yeah, you'll be fine then. Just mute that one video where you did taxi. And you'll be you'll be good to go. Hey Wolf Blocks, by the way. I don't know if I said hi. I don't remember if I spawned it or not, because I was mid thought, but yeah. If I already said hi, have another one. If I didn't, then there you go. I should have come from the airport, it would have been way easier to get to the pain spray. Oh well. Whatever, it doesn't matter. The important bit is after I pay and spray, because I've got to get it back to the thing without crashing. No worries, Lou. Happy to help. Because, yeah, I've, I've been in that exact same situation before, so... Know how to deal with it, don't worry. That's also why if you've seen my GTU VODs, any of like the 12 hour runs, like Crucial's Hundo runs, um, or Unnamed's 100% run of GTA 5, or anything like that, they all, um, they all are in four hour segments for exactly the same reason, so I can mute the video when it gets blocked. Because obviously SA and GTA 5 with radio are block central, like everything gets nuked. Uh, right, I need to go in here. And a pain spray. Marushka's Epic VC Hundo 2. I mean, that was just one video. Though. I didn't segment that. Anything longer than like five or six hours I chop up, Tom, is what I mean. Alright. And we got this way. And now we're just going to get back down again without crashing. Easy, right? Clueless. Surely I will get down here without crashing. First, literally the first car that's in my way randomly decides to lane switch right in front of me. And because it's raining, I can't break in time. It's not possible. So cool, man. Very cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, I need to be up here. Like, it's just so typical. It's so luck based. It's crazy. So fucking daft. I always forget where the pain spray is, man. Fuck. This whole place looks the same. Where the fuck is it? Is it the next one up? No, that's the police station. I'm so confused. It's here. Is it? Bro, this whole place legit looks all the fucking same. No, this isn't it either. I have no idea where the fuck the pain spray is. <laughs> it could be any of these buildings. They all look the same. There it is. It's all just literally, is it that gray wall? No. Is it that gray wall? Nope. Is it that gray wall? Nope. Past self decided to not make practice saves for VC Hundo. There are practice saves on speedrun.com, no? You don't need to make your own practice saves. Missed the old days before copyright went full on hyper mode. Yeah, me too. Not for my route. I have my own route. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, unlucky then. <laughs> Ah, yes. 
more lane switches. Very cool. Pain spray is the first entrance to the left when you come from the bridge. I'm sure I'll forget that my next time going. But I appreciate it nonetheless. But yeah. Uh, this whole place is a fucking labyrinth and none of it makes any sense. Nice dude. Huge. Alright, toys mission time. Uh, it's right here, we'll do it now. You can definitely tell Shoreside was the quickest and latest development developed island. I mean, yeah, it's it's unfinished. It is so poorly designed. Like, it doesn't take a developer to realize how awful the fucking layout of Shoreside is. Like, even seasoned players like myself who have hundreds of hours in this game get lost in Shoreside because it's so fucking difficult to navigate. Like, run, like actual players don't stand a chance. Especially with no map or anything. Like, it's a joke. No, the RC missions aren't changed, but I'm just doing them for the sake of, you know, all missions, right? May as well do them on the way. <clears throat> I'm still in the process of watching most of your essay achievements past broadcast before they get nuked. They won't get nuked, Tom, because my Twitch VODs don't have music in them. And you'll also be able to see them on YouTube in the future anyway, because I'm going to make a series out of the DE stuff as well. But it'll just take a while, because obviously I've got a lot of stuff to do for YouTube. I've got like Oh you mean before the 60 days pass Okay I'm with you Well either way they'll be on YouTube anyway Even if you do miss them on Twitch So They'll be more edited together But it'll be the same thing Like you'll just miss all the boring parts You know But yeah my current footage folder Is like 300 gigs worth of stuff I think it's crazy. Yeah, 372 gigs worth of footage for different series. So there is a... a long waiting list of content to be produced. But I'm only one guy. Alright, a uh, boolean runtime. I need the Luigi cart for that. So actually, it would be better now to go and do the warehouse and then get the Luigi cart and bring it here for Bullion Run. I wanted to do it after Bullion Run because that's when you're like the closest to the mission. But Bullion Run is so stupid without the Luigi cart. So it's way better to just go and get it now. Right, now the next question is, is where the fuck is Tony's Park Warehouse? Is there the hospital somewhere? Is it this one? This fucking stunt jump. This, this stunt jump also needs to be removed. Like, it's so stupid the fact that you can just trigger it constantly by mistake. Alright. 
Shouldn't that stunt to fix the problem with break saves, unfortunately, otherwise I'd have done it. Hmm. I guess. The fuck this is in the game, lol never knew. It's in the mod, not the not the not the game. I've always got to, even though that sounds obvious, I always need to be clear because there are a lot of people who think this is still original GTA 3. Even though, like, you would think it would be obvious that it's not, but to a lot of people it's not obvious. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> Sick back foot. No! <laughs> Fuck. Nice. Alright. Yeah, Chance, I can understand that. Can agree to it. Can agree to a degree. Cop Claude riding his little cart around the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One warehouse is totally vanilla. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen that in some old uh, 2001 pre-release footage somewhere. Pretty sure. Please don't pop my tires. Oh. Flawless. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't store this. It's dumb to store it. Because I'm going to be running to the fucking thing anyway. Because the time limit it only starts when you get in the vehicle. Yeah, I have no use for this, actually. I mean, it, it's still not a waste because it's still the fastest way to get from the warehouse back here again. Wait, but that means my mission order's fucked. Wait, no, nah, yeah, I shouldn't be doing this now. I should do this still after bullion run. Because I can still run to the warehouse before completing this mission. Yeah, that was fucking stupid. But now I've overwritten my save. Fuck. Yeah, that was stupid. Should not have done that. I I'm probably going to splice these the other way around in the video. Because it makes far more sense to do bully and run first. But I just didn't think about it in time. Would you rather play Harden 3 or Vanilla DE? I mean, I'd rather play anything in the original engine. I, I would I would rather sit and watch paint dry in Vanilla 3 than do anything in DE. Because it DE is just so horrible to play. Like, it's not even close. <laughs> like, GTA 3 is so much more fun. Oh, we can't even mega jump from here. Because, obviously, I can't expect people to know how to mega jump. Fuck's sake, we're actually going to have to run all the way around. That's so sad. Mega jump is quite easy. It doesn't matter how easy you think it is. You can't expect... People watching a guide to be like, oh yes, you need to learn this 
trick to do it. Like, it's just not reasonable to think that. I agree that DE is horrible, but I can't handle the lone frame rate, so I need to run classic in without feeling unwell. You can't play a game at 30 FPS without feeling unwell. Is that like a, like a motion sickness thing or like some kind of like visual sickness or what? Like, like 30 FPS is fine. Motion sickness? I didn't know frame rate was a problem for motion sickness. But I mean, I'm, I'm not exactly an expert, so. But yeah, I mean, you just, in my opinion, like just play fucking those games with Silent Patch, the classic ones. Because I'm pretty sure you can play at 60 with Silent Patch. And then, you know, problem solved. All right, let's go. You guys ready to count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. There's one up there, but whatever. 23, I need to go back up here anyway. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31 to be safe. 32 to be safer. I don't know why I ever doubted the Luigi cart. This is so fucking free. I just got unlucky once with the cop busting my ass. But it's so free. But yeah, I can easily just put like after the, after Rumble or after this mission, I can easily just say like, you know, speaking of the Luigi cart, go back to that warehouse and go back in it when you're not on a mission and there'll be a mission there and show you footage of me doing it. They'll, they won't know the difference. It all looks the same. Like all the map icons and stuff will be the same. Also sick backflip into fucking barrel roll. Need to nerf this Luigi car? Fuck that. It's the only over overpowered thing that I have. Fuck nerfing it. Uh. Uh. Removing from fun from the mod. Yeah. Basically. Hundred and sixty two health is probably enough for uh, rumble. Whee. Just felt like doing a quick little triple backflip. Bro, can you guys move? How many fucking taxis do you need? Ugh. Bro, I can't move. Oh, they popped my tire. That's why. Makes sense. Rain plus pop tire. Fun.
<sighs> Speaking of Riyadh microtransactions later, did you guys see that after the insanely good reception of RE4 Remake, they released the Mercenaries thing and added in microtransactions as soon as, like, the, uh, the fucking review views are out. So, like, all the reviews are, like, really good now. And now they've added the microtransactions. What a bunch of cunts, Capcom are. What a cunt move that is. That is such a cunt move. It's crazy. Absolute fucking scum behavior. It's crazy. I think I might still be dead here. Yeah, I can't move. Oh, no, I'm fine. Nice. Cool. Yeah, it's a shame, because the game l is genuinely fantastic, yeah. Uh, they added, like, things that you can buy with real money that basically allow you to, like, um, upgrade your weapons more easily in the single-player game. I don't know exactly how it works, because I haven't played the remake yet, but, yeah. Like, it, it basically makes it the single-player game easier with real money. Which, you know, microtransactions in a single-player game is just fucking disgusting. Okay, so we should just have, uh, how many missions left? Espresso to go, Sam, and exchange. So we should be at 70, right? Just to make sure I haven't missed any. Yeah, 70 out of 73. Cool. We can finish this today, easily. Literally two recording sessions. Any way to make single player gameplay easier is cheat. That's the dumbest thing that I don't fucking get. Like, if you want to skip upgrading guns, just give yourself, like, infinite money with cheat engine. Or, like, a trainer or something. Like, why pay for it? It's so daft. I mean, I get it. The people who pay for this shit are people who are such fucking drooling morons that they can't comprehend the idea that they can get it for free the exact same way. Like, they, they can't possibly comprehend... You know, the rationale of getting it somewhere else. You know? Like, they're such fucking idiots. So, it, it makes perfect sense. It's stupid, but it makes perfect sense. I should go down from the tunnels, but oh well. Consoles are out of luck, even though the game probably has, like, easy mode or some shit. I mean, I mean, I mean it probably has fucking auto-aim, because consoles, lol. So, the game's probably piss anyway. Just hold down left trigger and automatically lock to everyone's heads, and then just press right trigger and kill everyone. Easy. That's usually how it goes on controllers in modern games. It's, like, unlosable. It's like uh, one of the most recent COD games. I don't know if you ever saw the videos that I'm talking about. But there was a recent COD game that came out like a year or two ago. And on console or on controller, the aim assist was so egregious. It literally looked like a fucking aimbot. Like it would just lock and just follow people the whole time. So it's, it looked like in the videos, it looked like you were cheating. But it was just the in-game aim assist was so broken. So, like, keyboard and mouse players were just getting wrecked. It was so funny. Alright, I need some health and some armor. I mean, I don't really need it for Espresso to go, but it'll be nice to have. Get healed up and everything. Before we do the last couple of missions.
let's go this way. Uh, Armoured Patriot for this as well, 100%. It was so good last time for this mission. It basically just turned you into like an unkillable fucking machine. It was nuts. This can come out because I don't need it anymore. Well, I didn't need it anyway to begin with, but you get the point. This can go in the left side because I don't plan on using it, but why not have it? And then we'll put this on the right side so we can easily access it from the left door. Sorted. I've got to try and remember where the extra stalls are. Because I do not remember. Uh, yeah, Vince Pot, that whole Apex Legends thing, that's a thing in competitive Halo as well. Pretty much everyone uses controllers because it's just like crippling to use keyboard and mouse. I'm pretty sure the stall is like up here somewhere. What the university did on in Hepburn Heights? University is in here? Or is it on the other side? Hello? Oh, now it spawns when I go this way. Okay, man. Uh, rockets, rather. I've got 35 rockets. How did I get 35 rockets? I bought 10. Does a mission give you rockets? What the fuck? Oh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, throw it back. I'm so confused, where the fuck did I get 35 rockets from? Still from bomb the base? You only get five for bomb the base and I used all five of them in missions.
I have no idea how I got all these, but whatever. Let's go. Hey Jazz, thanks buddy. Thanks for the 22 months, goddamn. 22. What a boy. Alright. Up we go. Up to Portland. Uh, yeah, the M16 doesn't have auto-aim. If you aim in, it just manually aims in first person. So you're going to manually aim, shoot everyone. With the, uh, what's it called, which is fucking ass. Um, yeah, with the, the fucking right on org stick, you've got to manually aim down people, which is really shit. Hello. Thanks for popping my tire, bro. Really cool. <laughs> Go. All right, I'm dead. Well, how many guys was that that spawned on top of me with, with AKs? Was that like six or seven, I think? To kill me that quickly? I can't tell because obviously the game's in fucking double speed, but... Yeah, that was uh, not particularly fair at all. Cool. Feels like just yesterday I was spamming your chat with questions about VC speedruns. It does, doesn't it? I thought the game was running in fast motion for a second. It is. Mission must be fun with the Luigi cart. Fun yet impossible. For sure. It's already almost impossible to control that fucking thing with uh, with regular speed, never mind double speed. Really? I mean yeah, as soon as you destroy the first hole, the, the game is two times speed. And so you destroy the last one. I guess I'll pay and spray before going to Portland to make sure that I have as high health as possible. Like, I don't know if that even would help, but it's worth trying. Because I'm pretty sure I have more than enough time to do that. I love it when random pedestrians fucking run in front of me. It's so cool. It's so awesome. I love failing missions due to things that are out of my control. It's so awesome, dude. Yeah, get down, Mr. President. Yeah, basically. There goes like half my health because that guy just happened to be stood right fucking there as I was going through the barrier. Crazy.
Alright, uh, it's not worth paying, it's probably gets too far away. Driving this car looks like it's sped up. It is. Look at the timer, man. Look at the clock. The game is literally running in double speed. There's nothing to do with the car. Everything is double speed. You guys need to pay attention. It's the whole gimmick of this mission. Nice, dude. Get down, Mr. President, again. Can I do it from here? Like, how are these not hitting? Someone tell me. I just get busted randomly. Where, who? Who busted me there? There's nobody stood there. There's a cop like three feet away from me on the other side. Somehow that's a bust. Fuck off. How were those rockets not hitting? They were landing like right fucking next to it. Fucking hell, man. It's so incredible. Like, make any of this make sense. Do they have a finite distance? Yes, they do. But that finite distance, you could see them blowing up literally right next to the fucking stand. Like, they should have hit. You broke the door with the bazooka. Nice, dude. Just to make sure that now it's twice as easy for them to bust me randomly. Very cool. Hey, Nemico. Up. Yep. Just go, go for a completely different car that isn't yours. Called nice one. <sighs> Have I heard songs of six? Is it? Is that a song? Is that a band? Either way, no, I haven't. A game? No, I haven't. <sighs> Glamarious, I promise this one isn't me. The first one I can take full responsibility for, but this one? It ain't me. Okay, well I'm gonna need to pay and spray now because I've been fucking wrecked by several different guys. Yep, yep, just keep Keep driving in front of me, guys. Just remove any chance of me passing this mission. Game based on how you like Satisfactory and Factorio, I think you'd like it. Okay, that's cool. Songs of Six. Doesn't sound like an automation game. This is a Shimonkus deal right now. It's basically the whole game. How? Fuck off! Oh my god. People just fucking camp my door like that. Go away. Hey, look, I didn't get insta-killed this time. Crazy. <laughs> 
Playing this mission with uncapped frame rate is ridiculous, by the way. Oh, I'm sure. It'd be like just a thousand times speed and just completely unplayable. Broken physics, a thousand times speed would just be... You would just press a button and just go off out of bounds into wherever, whatever direction you were facing at the time. Well, Strice normally looks at, run at, it's dirty. Wonder if the stunt jump slowdown is affected. It will be. Everything is twice as fast. Everything. And you're like, even this? Yes, that. Everything. Even this? Yes, that. Everything. Done. Can I'll... USG cam would have... would cancel the effect. I don't know. I mean, it depends how you've coded it, I guess. But I guess, yeah, if it, like, overwrites it to set it to half, then... No. Yeah. Why am I playing at double speed? I'm not. The mission is set to double speed. That's the gimmick of that mission. It's to make it more difficult. How's the guide coming along? Yeah, I have like two missions left, Hustle, so... Very easy to finish today, 100%. Yeah, he runs at double speed because he inhaled the espresso or something as part of espresso to go. Some shit like that. Quick stop at uh, ammunition. Get some armor. If I watch the movie Kick Ass tonight with Rigi and some others, you want to tag along? Uh, maybe. I got all your own defense needs. On Sunday, right? I might have a meeting later, but I don't know if it's going ahead or not. So, maybe. Uh, let me grab a new car as well. Grab a new one of these. So my problem with this one is my strategy isn't really something I can request from someone doing a guide. Because my strat to get rid of six stars at the end is to get the dodo and then crash land into the pain spray. And it's a really consistent way. I did it for tough end as well. But it requires flying the dodo, which isn't really fair on people who, you know, can't fly the dodo. So I'll need to think of something else. Hey, Rigi, what's up? Is Titan Thrice now speed on a ball? No. It's not even close. Not even close. I wonder if I have time to drive to the airport, actually. I'm going to find out. Because last time I went properly to the ocean to, with the boat and everything... But I didn't try to drive it. Because it'd be way faster than grabbing the boat. And obviously the plane is nowhere near it right now. Did I have fun playing it? Yeah, I mean, of course. If I wasn't having fun playing this, I wouldn't be playing it. Simple as that.
Can I get through this? Ooh! Amazing. Gentlemen. Easy. Well, it might still fail me or something for doing it, but seems like I can. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, it's a pretty tight window, but you can definitely do it. Yeah. Is this van bulletproof? No, but it's armored. So it has more health, but it's not bulletproof by any means. Hello, sir. You put that rocket launcher down, sir. Not risking that. Tires are bulletproof. Yeah, that's the main part. Grab it. But yeah, so usually here I would get into Dodo and just fly away and problem solved, but it's not really problem solved with this. I need to get to a fucking pain spray. So I guess my my obvious option is get to um what's it called? Um Get to Shoreside Pain Spray. Jesus, what am I doing? I couldn't see that because it like blended in so well with the fucking background of everything. Hello tanks. Boat to Azukas. Maybe. <laughs> but where do I get a boat from? Is there a boat at the airport during that mission? I thought you had to get your boat and bring it there. Hmm. But then once I get to Azuka's, what do I do? Just sprint to the fucking construction yard and hope I don't die? Like, it's still really risky. I know, I guess from Azuka's, you can pay and spray there. Without really much risk. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fair point. Hey, Mimi, what's up? All right, let's, uh, let's do that again. Again, but better. I'm glad that attempt died because I was driving around like an idiot in the airport, which is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> now, I, now I actually have somewhat of an idea of what the plan is after I destroy the boat. Somewhat being the key word. So I also have more time to kill those um, those guys who are at the end of the runway because before I'm like tanking them, which isn't the worst idea because they're pretty free, but it's also a bit silly. And there's no real need to tank them. You have time to kill them all. No, he's never mentioned again, Skenta.
Oh, fuck the plane. Woo! <laughs> that was silly. Yeah, this yeah, this is in terms of like the 3D universe timeline. This is um Claude Claude, you know, potentially killing or not killing Maria is the the final thing that happens. Hi guys. Alright, now where's this boat? Uh huh. Alright. Uh now where? We'll have to go east and then all the way around, I guess. We'll have to go all the way around south. Because we could come up on here, but we'd just get fucking wrecked, I think. Yeah, 3 is 2001, VC is 86, and SA is 92. So canonically it goes, wait, it goes VCS, wait, can I not go, wait, hold on, can I not go round here? Oh, fuck. It just stops you, are you serious? I can't go round here at all? Well, that completely throws this out the entire window then. You have to go all the way around the north? Can I even do that? Yeah, it goes VCS is 84, VC is 86, SA is 92, LCS is like, what, 99 or something? And then GTA 3 is 2001. Hey, Rasmus. Advanced 2000. What is advanced? Never heard of it. Hello? I was turning right there and just nothing happened. Like, I swear to you. Cool, I'm dead. That's amazing. I started pressing D and, like, I shit you not, just nothing happened. <laughs> Why? Okay, well, this boat shit doesn't work. Because it's either take five minutes to go all the way around there just for your controls to fucking bug out. Or you can't go around the south end, so yeah, it's just fucked. The boat doesn't work at all. So my only option is, yeah, just drive to the pay and spray. Which is just so luck-based. It's so dumb. The only other thing I can think of is maybe going to the nearest bribe location. To, uh, to get rid of the six stars and turn it into five. But five is equally as horrendous. And the bribes have been moved, so I don't even know where they are. That's it. So this mission, unless you take a dodo, is just a coin flip, basically. Cool, good to know. Because, yeah, going all the way around the map on a boat is such a waste of fucking time. It's crazy.
Strangle new denim. Strangle new denim. Yeah, the br the bribe is right next to the pain spray. That's no use to me. No tanks in five stars. No, but there are FBI guys that inst insta kill you anyway. Because four FBI guys with AKs is an insta kill no matter what. If they all shoot you at the same time, it's GG. Hey, addicted gamer, what's up? Yes, dude. Good physics. There's probably a bribe in the airport somewhere. It's a big enough place. But you would assume logically there's one somewhere, but I don't have a clue where. Someone want to tell me how that didn't hit? Anyone? Anyone got an explanation? No? Okay. Cool. Ugh, fucking hell. Hey, Karma carry on. What's up? I put a bribe on top of one of the small hangers. Shots one to five clearly missed. I get that reference. He's a very smart man. God, I finally caught one of your streams. I found you through Thug and Abzu. You might be the first person on planet Earth that said they found me through me playing Abzu. That is that is not one that I've ever been told before, I think. What even is Abzu? God, how do I describe it? It's a, it's an indie game on Steam, and it's like, it's like an ocean exploration game, like a narrative, like ocean exploration game. It's pretty cute. It's a good game. And I ran it for a bet like years and years ago, but it's like a very niche game, and I didn't really touch it much. So, you know, it's very unlikely that someone would be like, oh yeah, I know you through Abzu. I meant to use the M16 there, but it doesn't matter. I was looking on the leaderboard, found your name, saw that you ran Thug, and then saw, oh, you're a GTA runner. Oh, huh. I'm um, glad, glad you uh, enjoy all those things as much as I do. Welcome.
I remember Absu being kind of good looking. I remember you being kind of good looking, Rasmus. You got, you got a fucking problem with that, huh? All right, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna try this piece of shit strategy one more time. We're going north again. Hopefully my controls work this time. We've been on the YouTube since then, but never managed to catch a stream. Oh, well, welcome in. I usually stream like evening times on a weekday, uh, Europe time, like 7 p.m. ish to like 10 or 11. Or on weekends, it kind of depends, but usually I'll stream like either in an afternoon or an evening, depending on what I'm doing on that day. I'm just getting fucking leaded by the helicopter right now. He's gonna blow me up at this rate. I won't make it to the uh... I won't even make it to the north side at this rate. <laughs> Must say I miss the American Wasteland streams. I miss American Wasteland. Cute little game. But I've just got so much shit to do that I can't play everything, you know? Like, I want to go back to Dark Souls at some point and learn the new route with that, because it's like 20 minutes faster than my other one, the other route I did, but... Yeah. So there's just not enough time. Alright, now we can actually go around properly. Question is, is can we get all the way to, uh... All the way... Up and around to the east side. No, we're dead. Yeah. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. The strat doesn't work. Because you just die to the helicopter even if you get around. Because it's like so long. It's impossible. So, yeah, Rob. This this mission really needs looking at as well. Because the only way that isn't abused a dodo to consistently... Well, I say consistently. It's not consistent at all. The only way is to drive out with six stars, which is just look whether a tank hits you or not. There, there is no consistent way to beat this mission. That doesn't use the dodo, which is obviously dumb. Because every other mission has a way. That doesn't involve the dodo, but this one doesn't. At least that I can find. The only other way is get lucky. Leave your Tony Hot runs for ESA in that. So it seems like a run I would have a lot of fun with. I just have no way to play it. Do you not have a PC? Or a console of any kind? PS2 or GameCube or something? PS5 only. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I mean, it is consistent, Rob, but like... In that case, you need to decide whether you are gonna require the Dodo to... To actually beat the mod or not, because every other mandatory mission that doesn't require the Dodo, there's always another way of beating it. It's like either you do or you don't, you know? I just did it with the reefer, but what, what did you do exactly? Oh, 
Intended Rockstar strat. But then what? You're you're you you've got the boat, you're in the middle of the ocean. And, and then what? You still have six stars, you've got to get rid of them somehow without getting insta-killed by tanks. How do you do that on a consistent basis? This is the question I'm trying to ask. I'm just going to use the dodo. Because there's no better way. And it's not like I need to explain to the people who are watching the guide. Like, if you don't know how to fly the dodo, just fly to the pay and spray in Shoreside. It's the only way. But it's a 50-50 whether you make it or not. Good luck. Like, there's no point in showcasing that. I'm taking off in the wrong place, by the way. This is a really bad idea. Eh, it's fine. There's no minus one star in the airport area. The bribe stars have been moved, so I don't know where they are. I need to go to the pain spray. Entered my car on the pier, drove to the casino, and went to the pain spray. Yeah, so just luck is what you're saying. You just dealt with the six stars and... You know, rolled the dice of whether you got insta killed or not, which isn't consistent at all. Whereas this is, because you just you don't get fucking wrecked by tanks here. It just does not happen. Well parked, yeah. I'll save it, saving it for later. Sorted. Hi guys. All right, final mission time. Let's go. No, Rasmus, I just did it the the dodo way. I was trying to figure out a way to do it without the dodo that is consistent. There isn't one, so I just did it the dodo way. That was all that happened. Fuck you. Yeah, it, it's 100% consistent if you know how to fly the dodo. I already knew that because I did it in my casual playthrough. The only point of my testing there was to try and figure out if there's a consistent way to beat the mission without the dodo. And there isn't that I can find, so... Waste of time trying to look out and drive around with six stars. It's no point. <sighs> Alright, last mission time. This should be fairly easy. This mission's pretty free.
Why suspending a bridge? Question mark. What? Ah, yes, just get me stuck on my own fucking car. Cheers, guys. Fuck off. I love taking a load of free damage because of bugs. It's so fun and interesting. I'm losing a bunch of crucial time to make this mission significantly more difficult. Very interesting, guys. this ammo. I forgot about it. Girl. Nothing you can do about that. Even tried to bait out a shot and he still just immediately shot me the second I walked in. Oh yeah, this random meme. Well, there goes. <laughs> there goes all my health. Again, that is that is random whether guys run up like that or not. They didn't for the longest time, and then yeah, cool. Literally a hundred health gone just due to bullshit. Because two guys decided to run right where I'm about to land. How convenient. It's crazy how every other time I've done that mission, that hasn't happened. Had one guy, never two. It's crazy how you do the same thing every single time and yet get different results. So strange. <sighs> Even hijacking a taxi is random because half the time they have a second passenger in them. Which makes it so you immediately get hijacked back the second you go and take it from them if you hijack from the passenger side. Literally taking cars is random in this fucking mod. Like, just, it script writes itself. Makes it hard to try and speedrun it. It makes it impossible to speedrun. Like, every time someone's asked me if I'm going to speedrun this, the answer is no. It's not doable in its current state. So much luck involved. It's crazy.
Can't see. This guy is such bullshit on the right. It's impossible to fucking peek him properly without just getting hit. He's so cheap the way he's placed. Because he's on your left side. So you have to peek out. And it's just luck whether he chooses to shoot you or not, like that. He could have shot me there easily, there was nothing stopping him from doing so. Bomb him? With what bombs? Crazy how I did this last time, it's like 100 damage, but this time I didn't. Crazy. Rocket? Oh yeah, the rockets that I don't have, right. Good pun. Done yet though, we've still gotta go and get what's the face in here. Luckily we're not on time here, so and a three sixty for the finish. Easy. Done. All missions done. Local that was way easier than last time. How long did it take me? Like 8 hours this time compared to like 15 or something like that? How long was the VOD last time? 3 and a half hours, so yeah, about 8 and a half hours total. Several citizens were injured in the panic as gunfire All right, was I'm going to go and get some din dins. And a uh, thanks for watching. Down. I'll see you guys live. Who gaming? Stereo's doing BC. Police are still finding bodies. There have been no official All right, go and say hi to Stereo for me. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Um, next time will be Titan Vice because I still haven't done an all missions guide for Titan Vice either and I completely forgot. So we'll be going back to Titan Vice and I'll be doing the same thing for that as well. So uh, look forward to that. And uh, yeah. yeah, new patch it, new patch for it as well. Uh, but yeah, have a good rest of your Easter. I'll see you all very soon. Uh, 